Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to continue configuring the Spring Authorization Server with the JDBC Registered Client Repository. Continuing with the code from the previous video, now we are going to store the clients in our database. You can follow the previous video with the link in the upper right corner. We start the first part of this video with the Spring Authorization Server code. We will only look at the modified files and classes. First up is the config of the database, with the schema SQL file. In addition to the user tables we now have a table with for the OAuth2 registered client. Below that you will also find an insert to create an initial client. In the security config we have now removed the bean in memory registered client repository. Finally, we now have a new class with the bean for the JDBC registered client repository. In the second part of the video, we look at the modified resource server code. First we have the new record OAuth2 registered client with all the fields. In the OAuth2 registered client service we read the clients from the database and list all the configuration. We start with a JDBC template and an object mapper. In the find all clients method we read the data from the database. And using a row mapper we create a list of all registered clients. Finally we have the OAuth2 registered client controller where we make the list of data available in the Angular app. This was it for this video, if you have any questions you can ask them in the comments. Thanks for following us and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel, see you in the next video.